what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk I want to talk about what's going on with Christian Rock sisters to Shecky right now um, obviously they have a little issue going on right now where Christian Rock has some chicks jump her but something else is being alleged by their nephew who's also from Baltimore I want you to listen to this and then I'm going to come back I don't even want to do this for real because at the end of the day I know how this end but at the end of the day y'all need to give a fuck how I ended I tried to kill myself five times on that Franklin Street step and y'all niggas at me bro so it's time to go out there Latifah Kashika she um suck it you just to clean the shower because she's too bougie to clean anything. I'm like, I don't know what the f going on. I'm just like, bro, this is weird. It felt weird. So I'm like, this is wrong. You my family, so I don't, I don't know what the f going on. So long story short, that my aunt tried to make me f in the garage and get in the house. I guess she gave word to the uncles and aunts, which I ain't know, but now I know. Cause I'm older, I'm smarter, I'm more wiser. But back then, I didn't know. But yeah, I get in the house now. My aunt, my other aunt, the older one, she bring me in the bathroom. And when she bring me in the bathroom, she said, "You want me next?" I'm confused as fuck, bro. I'm seven. I'm like, "What the fuck, tell me?" She like, "You want me next?" Um, I don't want to wash this tub because I guess my grandmother told her to um, wash the bathroom. We had chores growing up, by the way. My grandmother ain't play that shit. She made us wash the dishes, clean the house, all that. Now, what I'd like for you to do, if you can, if you're a black man, I, I want you to do something for me, please. I'd like you to go and go to, it's on site. I want you to read those comments, this link here. If I could put it into the description and look at the comments of these ladies who are saying everything about this young man they are saying that he's lying he's trying to get money he's doing that only because she's on now everything okay now let me just say something real quick when women say that certain things have happened to them in black america um we would understand that it's very possible that those things could happen because we are from that community especially when it comes to women women being abused um women uh being hurt Women being preyed up on, of course, no, no, no black man is stupid enough to believe that that didn't happen. We know that this stuff happens. It's a fact that it happens. Now, it could be that the, that particular woman it might not be telling the truth about that particular situation, but we know it happens. Here's something that you never see. Women, for the most part, ever having sympathy, okay? Ever having sympathy for what? For what men experience in black America. How many men have talked about but without and, and, and with, with fear of backlash, okay? Fear of chagrin. How many of them have discussed this idea that you know what? I've been abused by somebody in my family. It could be sexually, it could be physically. But most black men, because of the backlash and because it's not mainly to talk about this, they'll hold it inside. When they do talk about it, there is no sympathy especially from the opposite sex they are always told they are liars um they are cheats they're crooks you're not telling the truth about this particular situation that didn't happen to you your mom was good you're lying you're not telling the truth you're not telling the truth about this and that or that and this and all of these things this is what you've been told all the time this is what happens all the time where in black America, I'm, I'm here to tell you, there's nothing that the black male experience that is acceptable usually to the opposite sex, which creates a certain level of disdain. It's a one way street. It's only what black women have experienced, never what black men have experienced. But let me tell you this, the same thing that y'all talk about creeping, um, this whole idea of grooming younger people, you know, guys hollering at underage ladies, that idea is not one-sided. It is not unilateral. It is very much bilateral. Do you know how many black men who are 15 and 16 and 17 and look like they're adults 
that were approached by their friend's mother or their mother themselves or their aunt or their cousin or somebody like that and they were groomed had their youth taken from them and you know it, it, just because a man is entering a woman it doesn't mean that it's not and never and, and then never got caught never went to jail and knew that he was too afraid to go out and talk about it but see you don't want to discuss that do you because never in the black man's experience should he ever classify the things that have happened to him in his life because nothing happens to black men right when everything happens to black men it's all their fault but it's never anything about their own experience that they can talk about it because then your woman bashing your wife beats you hits on you things like that now now it's 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 you know what we don't know anything about that what are you talking about my friends don't act like that all the black women i know don't act like that is that what they, is that what they say yeah whenever you have a complaint well the women that i know don't do that as to absolve your argument and your own experience well the girls i know my friends and like that what we're not talking about your friends what does that have to do with what we're talking about there are many black men that have been abused by their wives have been beaten, didn't even think about raising a hand back, have been emotionally tortured, have been cheated on, have not once hit that woman at all, despite the abuse. In sexless marriages, the wife is cheating with somebody else. That man is still there paying the bills. That man is still being a father. Uh, wife is sick, he's still taking care of her on her period, all kind of stuff. Because of fear that you know, you're gonna take the kid from him. But see, those stories don't get told in black America for, for good reason, we know. We know why they don't they're not supposed to get told right that's the point it's not supposed to be told all right black men's experiences are not supposed to be talked about always supposed to be discounted to the abuse to what has happened to him in relationships you talk about what happens in your relationship with black women whoa what kind of black woman were you dealing with huh what kind of chicks you're talking about bro wow you're dealing with chicks like that what's going on with you what kind of women are you talking to man jesus christ you're dealing with women like that? That doesn't make much sense. Dealing with those type of chicks? Are you serious? You're dealing with women like that? I can't believe you're dealing with women like that. Wow, what kind of what kind of man are you? You're dealing with the wrong black woman, oh my God. But when that, nobody says about them, right? When they're dealing with the wrong black man, you know, that, that, that doesn't happen, does it? Does it? Like, can we talk about that today? Why is it all the time black men always have that issue where their experience is discounted and this is what creates the problem with the black men and black women in america that's why so many black men are so pissed off okay they're so upset that's it but we don't want to talk about it do we so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk i appreciate you for all that you do subscribe to the bell we're out Thank you.